Hi everyone, it's Christy Rich and I just wanted to check in with you on Tuesday. Wish you a happy Tuesday and to check in to see how everyone is doing after yesterday's solar eclipse. So I hope everyone got a chance to see it. It was amazing. I had a chance to go and see it out in the park in my hometown and there were about a thousand people there <laughs> watching the eclipse together so it was a nice community feeling bringing in this new energy and for those of you who are not on my newsletter I posted or I sent out a newsletter yesterday of some tips to help you to um, really use this solar eclipse energy to your advantage so I've been posting a few links on this page about the solar eclipse and how it can help us spiritually and what it means and I also wanted to give you some tips that you can do to implement into your life to bring great changes so just to sum it up again the solar eclipse is also the new moon so it's about a time of new beginnings so we had a new moon and we had an eclipse eclipses happen twice a year and they are jam-packed with energy so it's much stronger than a full moon you know everybody says a full moon everybody goes crazy watch out but with an eclipse um, especially those who are empaths like myself we can feel it very very strongly and the energy can last for six months and even longer so what I want to encourage all of you to do is to focus on new beginnings focus on what you want to attract what you would like to manifest into your life so on my newsletter I gave some tips and I'm just gonna sum up those nice easy tips for you and if you have any questions go ahead and drop them in the comments below and I'll come back and check so again it's a time of new beginnings so in order to welcome the new in order to have room for the new we must release some of the old so go ahead and grab a piece of paper your journal and write out everything you want to release get rid of in your life just make some space um, anything and everything it can be not, not liking your job it can be not liking uh, the mess in your room or how you're treated by someone or wanting more uh, independence or financial abundance or love anything and everything so make a list of everything you want to release out to get rid of no longer tolerate and then create another list of what you'd like to bring in and to attract and to manifest into your life so again if you want the love and the financial abundance put that on the second list and then the last list is something I think is is very opening heart opening for all of us is to go ahead and to create a list of what you would like to wish for the world so what prayers what intentions what would you like to have more of in the world is it peace is it harmony is it community what would you like to have and write a list as long as you like just keep going write 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 so create these three lists and then after you have these three lists again you can have separate sheets of paper or if you want to write in your journal and just really um, you know write paragraph forms that's fine too whatever you prefer and if you do three separate sheets of paper go ahead and gather them together and if you can it's really great if you can burn them so if you can then release them out into the universe so create a safe space for this you know either outside a place where you do fires or a nice contained place we don't want any uh, <laughs> accidents happening but if you can do that if you can burn it if it feels good for you go ahead and do that if not you can um, you know rip up the paper and then throw it away or you can just have it in your journal whatever feels good and uh, really uh, allow yourself to daydream to visualize about these wishes coming true so if you're into meditation you can go ahead and sit down and uh, daily just think about uh, what you're attracting into your life and see it as if it's already there smile feel the happiness it brings you and it brings to others and this is a great practice so again with the solar eclipse we'll be feeling the effects we'll be seeing the effects we will see big positive changes happening in our lives for the next six months or longer it can carry over to years you know these seeds that we're planting now are very big so I want you to really dream big and expect the best so if you have any questions about my tips today go ahead and drop your comments below and I will come back and take a look and answer those questions but again it's simply releasing the old 
letting go of what you no longer wish for or need or want in your life. What do you want now? What do you wish for? What would you like to have more of in your life? And three, what, what wishes, desires, prayers do you have for the world? Okay, so those three lists are really going to create very big positive changes. And again, if you can continue to journal daily, if you can continue to meditate or just think and visualize these thoughts, even more powerful. So I hope these tips have helped you today. And I hope again, you all got a chance to see the eclipse. Yesterday, it was beautiful, it was magical. Uh, I felt it very strongly, again, being an empath and uh, the energy is, is still very strong. So I hope you're all enjoying this new beginning and uh, I wish that all of your dreams come true. Have a great day. Bye-bye everyone. Take care.